Hello everyone, how you doing? This video is a rehousing my H. Maculata. And as you can see, he was moving around there, he or she. Took the old substrate off. I just got this guy from someone. And um, moving around a lot right now. Probably because my voice is echoing. I have him inside of this Exoterra, rather it's a Zoomed container. Uh, just because if he decides to take off, he or she, um, can't get far, but he's moving around a lot, and I will be putting him inside of this critter keeper over here, and so I have some moisture in there, these guys like it dry, but I put um, a little bit of droplets of, of um, water just because he lives in a real dry environment, so it's very possible that um, he'll drink a little bit of the water there, and um, I put a piece of bark in there so that... Um, he can create a, below, a burrow, and they like to just create their own hides and burrows, so just give him something to start with. So I will transfer him in there, um, he seems to be moving a lot right now, and uh, hopefully he'll just go in there. Um, if not, we might have to try to work him in there somehow, but basically, here he is right here. And this is H. Maculatus Togo Starburst Baboon. So I will just place this container in here. Oop, you can see he just went right in there. So, um, couldn't have been any easier. He just kind of leaped out of the container right into a new one. And now he's actually out. So I will lure him back into the um, container down there and be back in a few. Should have had that lid ready. Okay everyone, so there he is, um, he or she, right up on the lid. Um, wasn't too hard to get him in here. Uh, just put the credit keeper in the corner of um, the terrarium and then just kind of like corralled them in there with the long tweezers and eventually he walked into the container and I put the lid on top uh, pretty much it uh, they move around a lot they're pretty quick and uh, but that's the cool thing about doing it inside of another container that you really don't have to worry too much about it and um, it makes it safe for them and less stressful for you so that's just my recommended method, um, basically transfer these teas inside of another container. Uh, it helps out a lot. That's him right there. I'm pretty sure once the substrate and all this dries a bit, uh, it'll go down and um, just create a burrow. So that is my H. Maculata uh, Togo Starburst Baboon. And thanks for watching.